Before we start any type of graffiti style lettering, we're going to write out the letters of our name in all capitals. Keep in mind they need to be spaced out pretty evenly so that you have room to actually create the bubble or the box around it. So I'm writing out my first name and I'm going to pause here. All right, now that we're back, we're going to actually create the bubble around the letters. So I like to start on the left hand side and keep in mind, you're going to wrap your line pretty tight around the top of your lines or the outside of your lines and then bubble it out away from the middle of each line. So keep it close at the ends of the lines and bubble out around the middle. So keep in mind, bubble letters, it should be kind of bubbly and round. Your shapes should be kind of big and fat. The S is one of my favorites. I love drawing S's. However, we don't want it to look like the crease between two fingers or the eyelid. We want it to look more like the elbow that only has the one crease, not the double. So I'm going to erase that double. There we go. We've got a nice S with some good overlapping shapes. And the E is pretty similar. You can always bring the top and the bottom shapes closer together and squish that middle one even more. And then the Y, if you have a Y in your name, experiment with that shape a little bit. You may not like your first shape and that's why you have an eraser. Okay, so erase the middle of your letters. We just want the bubble. We don't need the lines up there anymore. Next, we're going to create a light source. So pick a side to draw a little light bulb. This is your light source. It's shining off in the other direction diagonally. So now I'm gonna get my colors. I suggest you use colored pencil for this. I'm gonna outline all of mine with the darkest color because I think it's the most fun. Then I need a highlight. My highlights are gonna be on the same side as the light source. So that light is shining on my bubbles. They should be nice and shiny. So generally, the top of your shine is gonna be the widest and then it'll just kinda of taper down. Don't forget any other, any other parts that kinda of stick out there. You're gonna have a little bit of shine mark there. All right, now I'm gonna get my, well, mid-tones. I want my highlights to stand out. I realized that the color I picked for the middle is actually really similar to the one I have for the highlight, so I added just a little bit of extra dark yellow so that they kind of stood out a little bit. But again, I chose colors that were a little bit too similar. So make sure that your lightest light for those highlights is really, really pale. Now, my shadows, those are going in the opposite direction of the light, and it kind of looks like if you moved the letter a little bit, you created a, a shadow just, you know, of what used to be there. So it's the same shape, but shifted over a little bit. Now I'm going to thicken my outline on the side closest to the light just because it looks a little bit better. I want to see my outline. I don't want it to be invisible. But I have to make sure that my shadow is just large enough that it's thicker than the side on the light. Okay, so again, now that I'm going to my E, I'm going to start with the shadow. So it's like you shift it over. Okay, so I'm going to pretend with my shadow, like my E was just over to the left a little bit. So here's the outline. There we go. Now I'm not going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to thicken that line a little bit, give it a little heavier weight, and fill in my shadow. And I'm going to go ahead and just do this all over, get all of my outlines. 
For the rest of this tune back in, we're going to use colored pencil. I'm going to show you how to blend.